This week, Netflix, Netflix did away. Uh, sometimes I'm saying Netflix because I'm from Texas. <laughs> anyway, so, this week, that's true. Sometimes, uh, this week, Netflix did away with their five-star rating system and went to a thumbs-up, thumbs-down method. Really interesting deal. So, here to comment it on it is Top Story Weekly cast member and Netflix avid watcher. Please welcome Eileen Mary O'Connell! Hey guys! Hey, Eileen! Hey, Philip! Oh my gosh. So, Eileen, tell me, are you excited about this new system, reviews for movies and stuff on the Netflix? Excited? Excited, Philip? I am appalled! Oh, I'm surprised you get such a strong reaction from you. I mean, it seems like something that would, you know, streamline the rating system. Oh, Philip, I already streamlined the rating systems. I spent years of my life perfectly curating what each and every star rating meant, and it was all for nothing! Well, maybe you could elaborate. I would love to, oh, Philip! Okay, do it. <laughs> God almighty, all, all right. All right. One star. It's reserved for movies that shouldn't even be on Netflix. Example, my friend's student film that somehow, somehow wound up on Netflix. Okay, well, that makes sense. What about two stars? Two stars, Philip, is for movies that you should be ashamed of watching on your, but you can watch it on your own because no one's around to see your shame. Example, every Tyler Perry movie. Oh, yeah. Okay, all right, what about three stars? Three stars, Philip. Ooh, okay, that is for movies that you, movies or TV shows that you watch when you want to seem smart and sophisticated, but really they're just kind of boring to watch. Example, <laughs> Mad Men. I said it. <laughs> wow, I mean, you know, Mad Men. That's a sophisticated drama. I would expect that to be five stars. It's okay. I'll tell you what five stars is, Philip. But first, four stars. Four stars is for when you have someone over and you want them to think that you're really cool and like have really good taste in movies. So example for that would be Forrest Gump. Okay, I love Forrest Gump. Okay. It's a classic. Then what is five stars? Five stars, Philip, is reserved for one film and one film only. It's the epitome of all that is great in cinema, all that cinema should strive for. It has everything, Philip. It has laughs, tears. It has adventure, intrigue. Oh my gosh. Is it Star Wars? Raiders of the Lost Ark? Oh, a classic like Lawrence of Arabia. Is it that? <laughs> no, Philip. It's Space Jam. <laughs> Space Jam is and always will be my only five-star review, or should I say, my only five monster review. That's a Space Jam pun, Philip. Well, Eileen, you know, we live in a like or dislike world now. Well, I dislike this thumbs up, thumbs down option, okay? Whenever I thumbs up Space Jam now, it's gonna be lumped in with all those other mediocre films. Well, I have to be honest, I've always kind of thought that Space Jam was kind of mediocre. <laughs> you are the Looney Tunes back in action of people. That's a good Space Jam metaphor. One star for you. Eileen Mary O'Connell, everybody. Bye, guys. Ain't I a stinker? <laughs> All right, and finally, today, Hugh Hefner turned 91. He celebrated by blowing out all the candles on his birthday Cialis. <laughs> <laughs> birthday Cialis. <laughs>